Hello, welcome to Psychic Industries and this is a tutorial on how to make things rise through liquid like you saw in the beginning of the video when I made a lightsaber emerge from gold. Now, it's very simple to make, it's not that hard to do. <laughs> I made it in about half an hour and it took forever to render because my computer was being a massive annoyance. So, first thing to do, you want to make a new general file, delete the cube. And I'm going to delete this light as well because I'm adding a HDRI later on. Next thing is you press Shift A, you make another plane, make that quite big. And before you do anything, go to edit mode and you want to subdivide this in the masses. So I'm going to go a thousand cuts, um, maybe, maybe more than that. Can, can I not do a thousand? Okay, we've got a hundred cuts. And I'm going to make all of those cuts. So let's go Shift A. Try. Let's just zoom out a little. Uh, okay, and uh, we want to subdivide them twice, three times. We want a lot of cuts because we want this to be quite. Natural. Now that might kill your computer already, so if that kills your computer, don't try the rest of this tutorial. Okay, got a bunch of add and dots here, go back to object mode. The next thing you want to do is add in your object. Now I'm going to use the lightsaber in the beginning of the video. So if it's already a ready made blend object, you want to go up to file, go to append, you want to go to find your lightsaber or whatever you're using. So I've got here and I'll press append. You want to go to collection and you want to go to the part you want to get. So for this, I want to get lightsaber. Now this came in with an extra camera. I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to go and try and straighten this thing. Cool. Now we've got our, my lightsaber here. I'm going to scale this up a little bit more. And we are going to put our objects below our plane. Right, okay. So, as everything already in this object is linked, so if I click here, I can move. Oh, no, I can't. Maybe, maybe it's not linked. Okay. So, if you've got an object which comes in multiple pieces, you first want to link those things together. Some things are linked, some things are not. So I'm going to press Ctrl J just to make things more convenient and Ctrl J just combines all the mesh data together. Now if I click on this it's one solid object and not many different pieces so I can now just move this around the way I want to. Now go to the plane layer, we're going to add some modifiers to this. We're going to go down to the modifying tab, which is the one that looks like a spanner <laughs> on the right hand side. We're going to press add modifier, we're going to add a shrink wrap modifier, and we're going to add a smooth modifier. On the shrink wrap modifier, you want to change the wrap method to a project, and the snap mode to on surface, which it should be usually. We want to change the axis down here to Z. We want to keep this on positive. We want to change the face call to back and make our object on this. And let's change the oxidative target as well. Um, my offset's going to be minus 0.06. That's the way I like it for this one. And if you see already, it should make a nice little mold. Now, depending if you really you like that or not, I quite like the way it looks already. If you see what it looks like in the camera. Yeah. So let's I'm gonna rotate this entire thing. The larger it is, the easier the um, the mold is gonna like kind of come out. That looks quite nice right there. And yeah, that's easy enough. That's um, that part done. Uh, we want to go down to the modifier uh, tab again on the plane and we want to change the smoothness to 1 
that just makes all the things look like natural. Now this knife looks janky right now, but we actually haven't added our materials onto it yet. So before I do anything, I'm going to animate this. Oh, whoopsie doos. So go back to your layer there. I'm going to make mine start here. So press I, location, rotation, scale. And then pull this up down here. Move it on to, let's say, the 40 frame mark. Bring it up to where you want to. Don't go too far, otherwise the object will pop out. But let's say about there, and there looks quite nice. Yep. Right, I locate your rotation scale. Move it on to about 90. I rotation, location, rotation scale. And let's make it 130 mark. Control C on that top one, uh, that first frame. And, that, and now we've got a loop. Let's make the end here to 130, so we've actually got the loop. So if we press play now, it comes up, it forms, and then it goes back down. That's a simple animation. You can mess with that the way you want to for your liking. Now, to make this look even nicer, we're going to go up to our scene properties. We're going to add ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections and motion blur um, basically that just adds more pizzazz so i don't think i will show anything now yeah it doesn't look that good now but yeah right next thing we're going to do is texture our objects now i'm going to make mine gold now with the object i brought already it already had a material and that was brass so if i click on that and go to our render stuff it's gonna look brassy now it doesn't look that good now so what i'm going to do is add a hdri for our lighting to do that you want to go to shading and already you can see how nice this is looking look at that brass it's not giving us much uh, to look at here, so we, if we go up here and we go to our viewport and add that to 64, it might look a little bit better. I think I had mine at 150. 150. Yeah, so now it's starting to look quite nice and it's got that nice reflection for the stuff here. So, what we want to do is we want to go to here and under, we want to go to world. Now we want to keep these two here and we want to add a texture coordinate node. So up in the search for texture coordinate, place that there. And then we want a mapping and we want to place that right there. And then we want our actual HDRI. So you want to get an environment texture dragged in and you want to go and find your texture. Go right here, press open. You want to drag this vector down to that vector and this color up to color. And then that should be perfect. Now we go back to layer. There we go. Now we got this nice looking 3D model. Now let's have a look at what's it going to look like. So it's going to come up from the ground there and then we're going to go back down to the ground like that and we have got this beautiful HDRI lighting around the entire area which is also giving us a very nice lightsaber underneath if you look closely with all these lovely imperfections made by the blend swap artist i highly recommend blend swap as, an, as a website to get most of your materials i will leave every single thing down in the description of what i've used but this is an amazing 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 uh, model
made from this. And it also gave us uh, materials. Righty. So that was your tutorial. All you have to do from there is export it, no matter what, and just wait. Be very patient with all your Blender things. Go FM Epic Video. This is how I do all mine. Encoding. Container MPEG4 medium quality if you want to go if you have a nice computer go high quality but never go one of these three unless you are trying to shove something in the cinema thank you for watching that has been the tutorial for how to make things rise from a liquid you can mess around with the uh, properties if you want here and uh, yeah just you can keep changing them to make it look however you want so i wanted brass neck Got loads of scratches here. Go down here though, oh my god, that is an interesting one. You can make it look however you want this liquid. You can make it look watery if you wanted to. Make it look nice and so oh, look at that. Nice and black, like it looks like a, a something venom made. But yeah, no, that has been a tutorial. I hope it hasn't been too tedious. This is my very first tutorial back as um as part of Sankey Industries. I'm so glad to shove this out there. I'm hoping you guys like these type of tutorials in the future. If you want more, I, I've got so many more ideas. So I can start teaching you guys a lot more in Blender or any effects at all from any other thing. But thank you for watching. Leave a subscribe. Uh, leave, a, leave a subscribe. Leave a like button if you like the video. Leave a like button. Leave a like down below if you liked it, share the video to a friend if they need it, and subscribe if you want more of this. Thank you. I will see all you guys in the next one. Goodbye.